India, a land rich of flora and fauna, is known to be home to some of the world's unique species. Since early ages, these forests have been a source of food and clothing for mankind. Animal hunting has also been a resource for food and safety of the tribes living among them. With passing time, it started becoming a traditional sport and a symbol of bravery and vigor. Kings and nobles practiced hunting as a leisure sport and took pride in exhibiting the mounts of their hunts as trophies. Till 1970, hunting was a common practice, but sadly, that turned out to be hazardous to the wildlife, as the population of the famous Bengal tiger had reached to the verge of extinction, disturbing the ecosystem. To redeem this loss, Government of India curtailed the practice of hunting and enacted the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 for the protection of animal and plant species and provide a sustainable habitat for the wild animals to flourish. A lot of illegal trade practices and poaching mafia were uncovered during this project, raising concerns for not only tigers, but other animal species as well. It was discovered that rhino horns, ivory of the Asian elephants, bones, skins and paws of tigers and leopards, snakes, pangolin scales, birds, and much more were being traded illegally. And then, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change formed the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau that became operational in 2008. This bureau undertook measures to track and detect criminal activities. They also took charge of restricting trespassers in the protected forest areas. Wildlife Crime Control Bureau investigates and arrests individuals and groups actively involved in such illegal trade and activities. The Bureau has its headquarter in New Delhi and five regional offices at Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai, Chennai and Jabalpur, three sub-regional offices at Guwahati, Amritsar and Cochin and five border units. WCCB also regularly organize training programs for forest and police officials to strengthen law enforcement's 
and manage effective database. They conduct seminars and sensitization programs all over the country to spread awareness about conservation and protection of wildlife in and around their natural habitat. These programs are conducted specially in tribal and local regions around the forested areas and it also helps the locals in eco-development by creating economic opportunities and training them to become effective conservationists. The challenge undertaken by WCCB is not an easy one. Yet, they continue to save what the humans have endangered. However, the struggle of vigilance continues. They guard, they protect, they mean serious business. The strive against criminals will continue unless we achieve a balanced ecosystem and a safe habitat for all species on Earth.